Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're going to do something interesting, something I guess I'll call it barnyard junk. So if you remember the episode that we did with Matt Zion from Reckless Eating, we went to Monland Hot Pot City and we went initially for the chicken testicles and they informed us that they no longer had the chicken testicles. So I was determined that I was going to try chicken testicles and so I took a trip over to Hawaii Supermarket, which is just around the block, and uh, they didn't have chicken testicles. However, they did have turkey testicles, and that's what we're going to cook today. So while I was looking for testicles, uh, I also found bull pizzle, or beef pizzle. And what pizzle is, is penis. So we're gonna, today we're going to cook with turkey testicles and bull penis. And we're going to try a couple different ways. So for the bull penis, I think we're just going to go straight ahead and make a stew. Um, this is what it looks like. So this is your, your calf baby making machinery here. That's pretty long, it looks like a snake. Um, so we're gonna cut that up. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is gonna put that in the pressure cooker. Uh, I have some pho broth. Uh, I might add some other spices, I'm not sure. Uh, some five spice. But uh, I think there might be enough in there, it's probably gonna be okay. I'll put in some potatoes, got some mushrooms, got some green onions, kind of put that in there. Put in the pressure cooker. Let that go for, I don't know, uh, about a half hour, I think. And, um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll pan fry some of it just so we can see what it tastes like by itself. And um, for the chicken testicles, I'm gonna do that two ways. One, I have leftover broth that uh, we got from Monland Hot Pot City. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna bring that to a boil on the stove and we're gonna, we're gonna do our own hot pot here. Uh, and then the other ones we're gonna fry up. So we have a fryer here. Uh, we'll just uh, dip them in eggs and roll them in probably corn flour and maybe we'll try something else as well. So get creative with that. If you're gonna try this at home, you can use panko, breadcrumbs, uh, you know, even crush some Rice Krispies with a rolling pin and that makes a nice coating too. So that is what we're gonna do with that. And um, I guess we should get started. So I think I'm gonna start with the penis and get that cooking. Uh, we're gonna need to do some preparation for that and we'll get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start off with a piece of this and uh, I'm just gonna cut off an end piece here. Wow, that's tough. I'm gonna have to cut it in small pieces like that. And then uh, we'll do a little uh, section here. Oops. Yeah, that's hard to cut through. So this should be fun. Okay, very unusual looking meat there. I'm gonna brown all of this, but um, I'm gonna start with this one piece first. So in the same pan, put some peanut oil in there. Okay, let's put these pieces in. I don't hear them sizzling yet, and I know this gets hot. A little pepper. salt I can already tell this is going to be tough as hell at the risk of annoying the sensors that penis is hard as a rock that is tough nails this is going to be fun. So hopefully the pressure cooker will do its business and cook this down. But man, that is tough. So I'm going to go with this, uh, this little piece right here. Just so you can tell I'm actually putting it in my mouth. Oh my god. I don't know if you can hear that. That is chewy as hell. 
Wow. Okay. Let's hope this cooks down. All right. So I'm going to cut up the rest of this, brown it, and then put the stuff in it. You don't want to watch me cut this up, so catch you in a minute. Okay, we have these uh, small pieces that they're puffing up a little bit. And then I put a couple of big pieces in here. And again, I didn't use most of it only because my arms felt like uh, I was getting Popeye forearms trying to cut into this thing. So I'm just gonna brown this a little bit. Some salt and pepper. Interesting smell, kind of an earthy smell. The taste on another one was uh, basically tasted like beef cartilage. It wasn't too, it wasn't uh, offensive, it was very mild. I think like little eyeballs in there. So I'm going to put it in our vegetables now. Probably good. Um, I have our potatoes cut up in quarters and our mushrooms cut up in quarters. Put those in there. Green onion. And now I'm going to put the uh, pho broth in there. That's pretty dark. I don't think I need other spices. It looks, it looks like that's going to be enough spice enough to cover that but not too much. We'll get that to come back to a boil and then we'll put the lid on. <laughs> I love the uh, I love the box it says for authentic pho add noodles beef and vegetables. Duh. Okay that water's coming to a boil so uh, let's go ahead and get our lid on. There we go and uh, let's give that a a nice half hour. Okay, well our penis is cooling in the sink and uh, before we open that up we don't want that to explode all over the place because last thing you want is a kitchen full of penis stew. So we're gonna go ahead and make the testicles. Now um, I don't know if you noticed it or not but I'm wearing this red apron and I love this apron. This apron was a gift from Michelle Grant and the reason I'm wearing this red apron, this particular red apron today is because Michelle Grant has a story about um, trying to squeeze pieces of cheese into a chicken testicle before cooking it. So um, there was a lot of fun and depravity and you know, drunkenness or something. I, I don't remember exactly, but it was a fun story and sometime we'll tell it. So I have the hot pot broth here. I'm gonna do some of the testicles in there. And then I have the oil here. Uh, we're going to fry some. We're gonna do a little bit of both. So uh, let's pop a couple in here. Uh, I guess we'll do some of the medium-sized ones. There's always room for turkey testicles. Now, the thing about turkey testicles is you would think that it's not a big deal. It's not a, you know, it's like who eats turkey testicles? But in Huntley, Illinois, every year, they have a turkey testicle festival. So, you know, if you can't make it out to Huntley, Illinois, do it yourself. So we're gonna let those uh, cook up. They're turning white. And so what I found to be true about cooking testicles in hot pot is that they kind of build up liquid inside. So you bite them in, you get this kind of burst of hot liquid. I suppose in the fried ones, which kind of cook all the way through. So let's go ahead and uh, get some of these into the eggs. How could it be harmful, right? And I'm just using corn flour. Uh, corn meal is a little bit coarse, so corn flour uh, sticks better. Although, not great. If you do go looking for these, I got them at Hawaii Supermarket in San Gabriel, California. Uh, usually I would check Asian markets for them. Um, believe it or not, they're called turkey nuts. Okay, I think I'm gonna relieve these guys. We don't wanna overcook them. 
This broth has served us favorably. Let's back burner that. Look, I can fry my fingers. Yeah, we're small batching it today. Oil bath, when those turned golden brown, pop those out. Whoa! They're popping in there. Now, strangely enough, it smells like fried clams. It looks like all the uh, batter came off of it. Okay, those are starting to go golden brown. Let's take these out. Let's have a feast. Okay, here's our barnyard junk. Now, these, they're a little rubbery. They didn't break apart or anything. They didn't cook down. Well, we'll see. The broth looks nice. Over here we have our testicles that we put in the hot pot and the uh, fried testicles. So um, let's go this way because I think this one's going to be the most challenging. So let's start with the fried ones. And they cook down. flavor. Uh, good flavor. So the corn adds to it I think. They're creamy inside but still firm. Maybe um, I don't want to say like chicken liver. It's not that strong. Kind of like um, like a savory tofu. They're really good. I like those, those came out good. Let's try the hot pot ones. Now again, I had two broths that I could use. I had the white broth and the dark broth, the red broth. I used the red one only because it has some chilies and some flavor to it. Here we go. Hmm. So, these. You get this kind of fluid or semi-fluid that kind of bursts in your mouth. And if you're not expecting that, it can be hot. Um, these are a little bit stronger in flavor. So frying maybe takes the fight out of it. Mm. These can bother you if you're a texture person, I think. Because the outside skin, a little bit chewy. And the inside is just, you know, completely cooked, falling apart cooked. A much stronger flavor. Mm. Not bad though. I think I would prefer these to these, but they're both good. Now this one has a lot of the flavors from the broth. There's a lot of that ginger and chilies, other things like that. Now let's try this. I think the potatoes cook down really nice. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna take one of the pieces of penis and try that. Oh my God, it is still chewy as hell. It's not as bad as that pizza piece that I lightly fried. Wow. I don't know how else to do this. You have to really cook it down until it falls apart. I've had bull penis pho where that that gristly part just is kind of gelatinous. 
I don't know if they marinate it or they put something else in it when they cook it. Potatoes. But, um, flavor wise, not bad. Oh my god. It's the chewiest thing I ever ate. No, oh, you gotta have good teeth to try this. Flavor's good. Kind of an odd dish. I don't know that I would do this again. It was interesting though. My uh, bowl penis stew. So, um, I don't know. I might have leftovers. I might finish it. I'm not sure yet. If you get a chance to try it, try it. If you've had bull penis, if you had turkey testicles before, Leave a comment down below. I'd like to see what your experience was with them. But get out and try different things. These aren't going to eat themselves. Get out the road, find these, go wild, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.